So an online business is cool. You see people as young as 16 or 17 starting their own online business store on platforms like Shopify. Maybe you want to make some quick bucks online or you might have the same thought process as me that starting an online business could be fun and then you could potentially learn something in it. And in hindsight, I've got to say that I did learn something through starting and ultimately failing that business. But it's not anything that I thought I would expect before I started the business. So today I want to share you my story of starting and ultimately miserably failing my business and what I learned in the process. So first of all, let me give you some context. It was the summer of 2020 and we all know what happened. Nothing's happening, you're home and there's nothing to do, but it's summer. So I thought to myself, I've got to do something. I can't just sit around all day playing FIFA, right? And that's when I came across this business model called print on demand. So for all of you that are not familiar with the business model, so it's basically an online clothing printing business model. So first you design the clothes, but depending on what platform you use, there are different choices of clothing that uh, you can design on. So in my example, there was t-shirt, there was hoodies, there was even socks for you to design on. So whatever clothes you choose, basically what happens is that you design your own clothes in your own way. You, you know, Photoshop, Canva, Lightroom, or Adobe Illustrator, whatever you use. And then after you design your clothes, what happens is very simple. Basically, you post your clothes online, and then if someone buys the clothes, the platform will help you print your design in their factories, and then they'll ship it directly to the customer. Now, how they make money is that they, they take a small profit margin from the price you set on your clothes, and the rest of the profit goes to you. There was no initial upfront investment you have to make. And that's actually a big reason why I went for this business model to start with. I thought that there was three main perks that I saw in this business model. First of all, so as I said, there's no upfront cost. Secondly, is the infrastructure that the platform provides. They help you print the design on the clothes and then ship it to the customer, which means that all you have to do is basically just go on their platform and design the clothes and that's it. And finally, as I said in the beginning, I just thought it was a good experience for me to learn something. So here comes the part where I actually start the business. So I've spent the first three to five days just figuring out how to use everything. For example, how to set up a storefront on a platform, how to use Adobe Illustrator and Adobe Photoshop to actually make my design. So I actually made my design on Canva, but then I had some final tweaks on Adobe Photoshop. Um, I tweaked around how to make uh, logos for my so-called clothing line, and I figured how to make my storefront look better on their website. That was all fun because the easy bits of uh, setting up a business, especially with such good infrastructure on their website. And then after the initial few days of setting up the business, it's actually time for me to start pushing out my clothing. So the first line that I do, I very arbitrarily chose yoga as a theme, as well as coffee as a theme. So I had two different lines, but I did not do any prior customer research or I didn't have any specific justified rationale for me to go into those two business lines. And very soon, about a week or so, I realized that firstly, there was no sale coming in. And second of all, I was not enjoying it at all. Now, at that time, I thought that I was not enjoying it because of the theme that I chose. I like coffee, but I don't like it so much that I'm passionate in it. Same as yoga. My mom likes it, that's why I chose it in the first place, so I don't actually personally do any yoga. Well, maybe like once a month or twice a month, but that's about it. That's about the relationship between me and yoga. So then I basically switched my tactics into making clothing lines revolve around topics or themes that I actually enjoy. So this time I landed on travel and more fashionable themed clothing lines. So just for reference, it might be something that you see in say, Urban Outfitters. Very quickly, so this is about a week or two weeks into my starting of the business. I realized that I do enjoy it a lot more in terms of designing the clothes itself because it is something that I personally would wear. I enjoy it a lot more. I put much more effort into designing the clothes. So initially, my strategy was quantity over quality. I think at the peak, there was like 20 or 30 different clothing items on yoga and coffee, which sounds just absurd. But then after I switched tactics into another, into doing more um, travel and fashionable clothing, I tried to spend more time in the quality side of things. So I think I was pushing out ma at maximum five to 10 items 
for the remainder of the week. Time continues to go by and after say a week or two, there wasn't there still wasn't any sale coming in. Frankly, I wasn't I still wasn't really enjoying myself. So I so I thought to myself, what what's wrong here? Why am I not enjoying myself? Even when I'm designing something that I personally like. After after a long long time of thinking and a long long time of no any no sell coming in whatsoever i realized that the problem lies in the business model itself i don't care about the money so even if i had sales i probably would have stopped anyway but the problem lies in that i don't find myself creating any value or doing any meaningful work because i know that even though i can design what's on the shirt itself i don't actually get any choices in what materials are used in the fitting of the clothes in in the minor details of the clothes and just by designing the pattern on the clothes itself i don't feel like i'm doing the world any good i don't feel like i'm actually making any meaningful products or anything that's of good quality and that's why i did not enjoy it it's not about the theme it's not about what i make whatsoever it's about the whole business model itself so that's when i finally decided to stop my whole print on demand business um and that's about one month into starting the business i know it was short but it was enough for me to learn that i cannot force myself to doing something that makes money if, if i do not find meaning in it so that also trumps my initial hypothesis that if i start an online business no matter what it is the act of starting an online business itself will be fun which has proven to be false after a month of doing the business now i think there's a few insights or key takeaways from this experience of mine so first of all a lack of passion or a lack of problem for you to solve really affects your motivation in running the business itself so in my case as i mentioned i realized that i don't actually find meaning in doing this business model so maybe if i did put in more investment i could make money from selling clothes but even if i did make money i wouldn't find it to be meaningful because my clothes i personally know that my clothes are probably not of the best quality I probably don't have much say in terms of how the clothes looks and what I'm doing is essentially just designing the, the small bits, this bit of the clothes using my design and that's it. And second of all, to enjoy what you're doing, you really have to have the skill set in doing it. Now ignoring the argument that if you put enough time in it, you'll be good at it, I find there to be a real mismatch of skill set and what's in demand in this business model. So obviously your main role is to design your clothes and me? as a law student coming from law background i don't have that whatsoever i can do really simple thumbnails or a really simple poster design on canva but making an actual design on clothes nah that's not my thing so there's a real mismatch in skill set and what's in demand for this business model which i find to be another problem as well and thirdly and finally there always needs to be some kind of investment into a business for it to succeed more straightforwardly it can be capital or money investment but if you're not willing to put in the money, you have to put in your time. If you're willing to say, put money in terms of marketing campaigns, it saves you a lot of time. But if you're not, not willing to spend the money on that, you have to spend a lot of time building up your own social media account, you know, doing your own marketing, which takes up a lot, a lot more effort. And both of them are investment. It's just the fact that one is capital investment and the other is your time investment. So no matter how good does it sound in the beginning, you always, always have to put in effort. It's just, a choice of your money or your time so yeah i'll say that's the three main takeaways from my business failure i do find it quite interesting though because now that i know if i want to start something it better be in it better be meaningful to me in some kind of way and that's a really good takeaway from this failed experience i think and yeah that's all i want to share today not sure if this sounds interesting or not but if you enjoyed it i'm glad and um i'll see you next time